hello and welcome to Scrivenuts character sheet videos number one now I've decided to have a go at um, some character sheets to uh, add to my blender um, idea of doing some blending 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 on blender <laughs> blender some 3d graphics on the blender but I decided that um, we do need um, to have some sort of characters to work to instead of just picking someone else's brain using their excuse me pardon me um, <coughs> using their uh, examples and create our own so um, I want to create my own obviously and uh, I don't want to do someone else's work I want to create my own so I start with a new page uh, yeah I'll set it for 1500 by 750 on resolution of 72 and in using the RGB color and a white background so I just get that up and running and I just size it up because it's a bit small let's see if I can see it in the screen right now then <coughs> I thought today we're going to have a look at the brushes as well as um, brushes I will put on a uh, a link for you so you can find them and use the same brushes as me if you wish I uh, downloaded them from a site that I know from many years ago um, I've been on I was a, I was a member for a couple of years drawing on there and uh, anyway I got bored with that because it wasn't going anywhere and uh, I decided to do something else and I'm always like to try different things you see so if I seem to change and chop that's because I like to try different things but I will come back to the things I've done before it's just a case of um, as and when really um, when I feel the mood I suppose um, I have a down of these brushes anyway and uh, it should come up full to you yes yeah, so I've downloaded it becomes, this comes with a standard pack of brushes this CS2 that I got for free which I also downloaded for free um, and I wanted to use that but it didn't have enough brushes it, it had some brushes but it had no pencils in it so I got some pencils from um, oh, can't remember the name of the place now Deviant Art Deviant Art that's the word Deviant and the name I should say that's <laughs> that's the name Deviant Art and um, I downloaded some pencils from there uh, so I'll try and find the link and give you the link so you can use the same pencils as me if you feel you need to use the same pencils as me um, I'll pick that one see how that comes out so we've got a quick scribble it's quite solid isn't it I don't particularly like solid pencils like that but it's nice to have one but um, I prefer to have something that's a bit vague if that's the right word um, I'll step back and get rid of that go to edit step back edit step back until I get rid of it or you can rub it out it's up to you I prefer to just step back sometimes, depends how far I've got into the picture um, how m obviously once I get more into it I won't be able to do that, I'll have to go to the rubber, pick up the rubber on here and rub it out quickly that way but I, I say I want something that's a little bit vague and not so um, sharp as that one, let's try this one uh, it's still a bit sharp mm, no I don't like that one so I'll go back and we'll find another one. Um, blah, 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 blah. Let me find my faded ones here. This one, is that my one I've done? I did one brush, I named it after myself. Scribble Nuts brush, you see. And uh, but it's a, this one's a bit too too vague, but it, it'll give you a. I like that um, vagueness about it, so you can start imagining things from it um, by just drawing with it and it looks like a thumbnail or fingernail doesn't it or it could be an eye an eye to a monster there you see that's what I like about the vagueness of the pencil is it don't actually give you a detailed line until you're ready for it so it's good to get a sort of fuzzy pencil if you like it's not so sharp don't get a sharp pencil to start with because um, it helps you to um, I could probably rub it out quicker but then it means changing my brush when I don't want to do that at the moment 
I can get it back again, I know. Uh, takes quite a few steps, so I'll just quickly do this. Obviously, it takes a little bit of. You get used to it. Keep stepping back. It just saves you going back a few. You can go back a few stages if you mess up halfway through the drawing. Um, you can simply step back. If I think it's taking too long. I will change it, but at the moment it's nearly there. gone. I realise how many times I've touched the pad with um, the pen, and uh, it's nearly gone. Alright, but I'm up, and then we'll start drawing for real. We can only go back so far, and gone back enough. So that is one problem with um, Blender, uh, <laughs> CS2, I should say, or any program. The step back. No, I need to change brush. Or oh, I know, increase the size of my brush. That way, it'll rub it out a lot quicker. Because it's a faded brush, it takes a bit of time to rub it out. But anyway, it will get in there. Right, and I've spent 6 minutes and 20 seconds just doing this a little bit. I keep the video short as well. This is only a sort of tester really to show you what I had in mind to do. <coughs> and uh, hopefully you'll come along to the next videos. About 9, 8, 9, something like that will do. Right, okay. We'll start making the drawing anyway. We'll go for a 10 minute video here, roughly. I might be put it to exactly that because I can um, I want to get sort of some sort of hang on I've got to go back to brush hey that would help um, that's better I want to get some sort of proportions here and size so what I normally do is sort of get a flow line going and she sort of goes like this I'm thinking of a standing sort of stance like that with our other leg sort of coming down here and a foot about there and that one same ground level ground foot and um, the head is here roughly like so I'm getting a bit of lag here from the computer but sort of body wise sort of some sort of body shape there and the legs coming down that way another thing you do run out of pad you're trying to do this, you're suddenly drawing and then you, your pad disappears <laughs> off the edge of the paper, if you like, off your pad and you think you've got to the edge of your paper, but you haven't reached the line, so you're sort of roughly getting a body shape, a pose, you're looking for a pose of some sort, I'm thinking of her just standing there with her arm down there and another arm down here like this. Um, something like that, so just to get a basic shape, position of everything, so don't worry about it looking much cop because it won't at the moment, but um, I shall get into more detail later on. At the moment I just want to get proportions really, um, trying to get it to look something. Um, yeah, I'll give her a shield I think a shield here, a nice big shield down here and she will have a sword in her hand down here going in this direction down towards past her knee like that and a nice quiffy hair coming up there and flowing back over here sort of like that and then I'm gonna give her some shoulder pad armour on the arms like so and uh, create that there mm -hmm. yeah that's it so she's got this armour pad here uh, give her a slim or well, quite a slim waistline and some hips sort of there all we're doing is a little proportioning it out so you can get a rough idea of what she's going to look like um, and then just sort of give it some foot on there just so we can see where the foot's going to be it could change, nothing's written in stone here we shall change it if necessary we're just trying to get a pose going so we've got a pommel here 
obviously I'm going to have to change this pencil for a better more detailed shape but for, for this I can just roughly see I give her a um, a flowing cape on the back on her back and flowing down the side of her and we'll put it um, sort of flowing out here perhaps some that yeah that do something like that and we're going to give her armor on her legs um, something like that some armor on the legs so you armored leg don't we and then slim ankles obviously and uh, so that something like that and this tunic goes up the front or this like draped a draped veil down her front here um, <coughs> like so and then we've got some sort of pleat up here like something like that and then she'll have armour all up her legs up here I think like that I'll probably get a knee knee pad in there of armour and perhaps an anklet an anklet of armour there maybe we'll see and then the blade obviously it's got to be going to be thicker than that but and I'm going to have a hand here I think just put a, put a loop there for the hand so you basically got a rough sketch there of what you want to do um, I should we put a sort of I think I might give her a bodice type thing here and then um, a steel chest plate there for her Breasts and um, come up here a little bit there. Now the video's already gone into 12 minutes already, so um, I'm going to call this a day on this one. But I'll be straight back with another video for the other part. I just want to get some sort. Of, I just wanted to get some sort of um, sketch down, and uh, I think we've achieved that. Um, shoulder pad. I think her arms a bit too high for the shoulder pad. And the arm down there so yeah it's coming along slowly but I think I know I'll put a plait or something like that along here and her hair we'll put the side of her face we'll give her the side of her face looking down her nose here somewhere you know it's just a rough sketch to get a um, basic idea of how you want it to look basically or your character it doesn't have to be this one um, if you want to um, submit your own drawings, um, I'll put my. Uh, you can submit them to me, and I'll have a look at them and see how you get on. And if you have any questions, if you want to ask me anything in particular, I can hopefully answer you. Um, let's see how it goes. But um, say this video is already on 13 and a half second uh, minutes. <laughs> um, we'll go to 15 make it 15 minutes I'm going to put some sort of belt down here like that uh, like that with a sheath for the sword maybe hanging off the end there yes yeah, so that'll do something like that yeah we've got a good good enough pose there a bit more hair a bit more hair there perhaps going into there more hair at the back there. Yes, that will do nicely. And I'll say we'll put a tunic like thing here. May have a, a double veil coming down the front and down the back of her body. But anyway, that gives us a rough drawing, um, which should be good enough to get us started. We've got a rough idea of what we're doing then. Basically, we've got a belt going in and a belt around the waist there, so we've got a little mark for that so we know where that's coming from. And then the V down here, and then we have some uh, cross tassels there or something. I don't know. Maybe one, two, three, maybe. I don't know. See what we can get in there. And then um, put some edging on this bodice and 
some armour straps. I remember the straps all over the place. They're holding all this together. Maybe a chain across there or ropes across there. Yes, that'll do. It doesn't look much at the moment, as I say. It's only an early stage, but it's just to give us something to work on. And then the sword pummel will come out here. Oh, we've gone over the 15 minutes already. Right, okay then. <coughs> we'll end this video here and uh, hopefully we'll be back to do some more detailed, well not detailed, but a bit more focus on what we're doing here. It's not very good at the moment, so it's just a, a rough idea. Okay, that's what we need first off to start any, any um, project that you want to do. You need some sort of rough idea of what you want to do before you even start really. So, thinking caps on, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.